So another plan failed, and that was to have an all-nighter, which is quite a good thing, actually. Um, I woke up about nine o'clock, so I could be up waiting for my delivery. I've been waiting for a while, about an hour and a half, and I decided to give Tesco's a ring and see if they can narrow down the time so that I can pop out to the market and go and do some bits. And they said, uh, no. <laughs> Basically, um, I had to ring the company that they middleman for. And then uh, they've said it will be delivered anytime between uh, 8 and 6. It is due out today, but anytime between 8 and 6. It ain't been yet, so. <laughs> I'm guessing it won't be till later on this afternoon. Give me a little bit more time to finish up the last couple of bits and drag the Vivarium through to the next room. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited and I will hopefully be able to finally get my montage made today. I don't know how it'll work out in the rest of this video. It'll be later on, obviously. Um, I'll be putting the thing together here, basically. So. Um, gonna finish the last few bits up in the flat, take the dog out in a sec, and then just get some more washing done and stuff while I wait for it to show up. Oh crap, I'm late for my fucking meeting. I'm not late for my meeting, thank goodness. Uh, I'm meeting my business men mentor Peter today. Um, I don't know whether I'll film, if I do it'll be muted out anyway, because uh, it's uh, private conversations. But normally we meet at about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm sitting here and it's half 10 and I was just thinking, fuck. But normally he would have texted me by now. I just checked my alarms because I did set alarms for it on the calendar and stuff. It's not until 3 o'clock. So I've got time. Um, it's a little bit more of a schedule on because I need to be, luckily I'm, going, I'm only going to be close by. So hopefully it's delivered before then. I'm going to do my meeting and come back and put it together. Whew. Scared myself then. Okay, we're nearly there. The gym has arrived. Wait, so there. Uh, I've had to pack all the rest of the stuff into the kitchen. Yeah, but that's not. It's like a dog's bed and pillows, some tools, my washing bins, and, and the spare plastic boxes. Easy to clear up. I've managed to get the couch. That's all fucked up. It is like, if we question it, it is like 20. Five years old. Okay, so um, no, wait. How old is Molly? Twenty-one. Twenty. Twenty-one years old. No, hand me downs. You know how it is. But I managed to get this light. You can see. I got all the stuff. The bedroom organised. I got a vivarium in. So. I mean, even see, should we open the curtains? It's right in here. It's dark. I don't even think they're going to stay open. No, they're not, are they? Right. So, I'm going to move bed down to here. I'm hoping that as it gets earlier during the day, the light is going to help me awake sooner, whether I want to or not. Um, I keep looking up here, expecting the camera to be up here, but it's not. It's on this side. Turn, but then it's on the bottom. Can't really win in that scenario, can I? Um, so, put a bed down in that corner, put a vivarium up there because there's internet port on the wall. So, I can put my old TV and my old 360 in here so I can still watch, um, I can watch Netflix and stuff in bed rather than falling asleep on my couch every night, which um one to do. I very, very rarely sleep in a bed. Hence why it's not even made. The only person who sleeps on this bed is my dog, which you're not supposed to. <laughs> um, but I plan to change without I've got to get a ro proper routine kicked in. So get that moved. Set up the telly and the other Xbox over there so that I can watch Netflix in bed. So then rather than sit on the couch and watch stuff till I fall asleep, I can do it in bed and it will be less electric because I've turned all the rest of that shit off. Um, so I'm nearly done. There's a few bits to do. I've got all my coat hangers to come and get my washing done. One load of washing in. It's going to take 
about five loads to get everything done, but that's all my bedding looking as well. Um, and then uh, that should be about it, hopefully. I've got to get all this stuff collected for the homeless supply. All up there and there as well. And then a little bit lighting, all of that stuff. So I'll go downstairs to recycling. And then I can put my bike against the other bike as <laughs> the rest of the kitchen is clear. And then the gym's going here. And the armchair is going in the bedroom as well. I'm just going to sit that down next to the bit. I'll set the laptop um, that I borrowed up in there so that I'm sitting in their designated workspace. We have connection. You are in there. Woo! Had to go wireless. Because I've only got another modem from my old Sky one and Sky suck and it doesn't seem to want to work with anything else. But, if all of that's gone to plan... Finally, I won a small smidgen of a tiny battle against technology. Yes! The human race will win out. The robots will not take over. Because I fucking beat it. My goodness. Ugh. It's going to take a lot of putting together. There's a whole lot of pieces. So I think I'll do the very unmanly thing. The most unmanliest thing that unmanliest men can do. Just read the instructions. Well, that's pretty good though. You've got all the screws all in place or what they're supposed to be. Should be easy enough once I get the, like, the main frame up. But uh, I don't really have too much time to work on it. I'll go ahead to my meeting shortly. And then come back, finish the rest of this tidying, figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with that armchair, and put it up. I'm ready, let's go. Okay, you bastard. Let's do this. Okay, after a whole lot of effing and blinding, it is up. Now, I've got all of the... Um, I've got all the pulley system to put on, but there's no point in putting that on because it blocks up some of the other bolts and I haven't tightened them all up properly. So that's going to be a job for tomorrow. Uh, I'm pretty happy I've got it all up. Should be able to use it by tomorrow afternoon. I literally just need to get a socket, spend a little bit more time, and then it'll be fucking about with the cables and stuff, making sure they're all the right way. Um, aside from that, it's all gone pretty well, actually. Uh, I like the way it looks it is a bit bigger than I thought it would be so I'm going to have to get rid of that chair I think it's old anyways and we'll throw that one away and then I'll have plenty of space for this but uh, it's here it's, it's halfway up and I'll finish it off tomorrow when I've got the other bits Quite happy that I set up my TV in my other room now because I can't <laughs> I can't move from my living room, so I'm gonna spend some time in my bedroom this evening when I get back. Um, so this will be it for my video for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna get up early, finish this off, and try and get a workout in before I get down to Chatham and go and open my business account uh, so I can accept my loan from the Prince's Trust. I really got to push on with that kind of stuff today. I met up with my mentor, uh, a lot of nagging, bless him. Uh, he does love the nag, but I love him to bits. He's instrumental in getting my company off the ground. So I've got some jobs to do this weekend and some deadlines I've really got to meet. Uh, and by the end of the week, I should be ready to sort of accept my loan from the Prince's Trust and start shelling out some cash for a van and my new boxes, which I've sent the designs off for. Um, and I've got a couple more scaffolding bits to buy and then we're ready to go. Uh, whatever money will be left, probably going a couple of crash mats and some, some floor matting for younger kid classes. But uh, I do believe in having mostly a solid surface when I teach. <sighs> tiring, man. Tiring. But I'm glad it's here. I'm glad it's up. It's been a productive day. More tomorrow. Peace.